Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and um, let me intro this music real quick. Uh, this is gonna be Greyfriar, um, Entomologies 2. Um, I kinda, this is kind of a sudden last minute pick. Um, I didn't, just wasn't really, um, wasn't really music hunting or anything like that today. Uh, so just one of the first things that came up here, so... I only listened to a little bit of this, so I don't really know. I don't really know what kind of album this is overall. So I just knew there was like a bunch of organ. It's a pretty organ-heavy album. So let me uh, go ahead and get. I'm going to uh, rewind that and start it up. Yeah, I still got to kind of do a volume check on this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it up a little bit from my end. Yeah, Order of the Black Arts. That's probably one of my favorite channels. They, uh, they play Dungeon Synth, they play Black Metal. Um... Uh, and that uh, that's something else too. I totally, for I totally forgot to add this in. But uh, there's a new channel that I sub to. Never thought it existed. Called uh, anti-fascist black metal, like Antifa. Yeah, uh, Antifa. They got their own black metal YouTube channel. So um, I went ahead and subbed to it. Uh, listened to like one or two of their. Listened to like parts of like one or two of their albums. Some pretty good stuff. So worthy of a sub. So and uh, I guess there's also a. Uh, I try to remember the acronym. I think it's a uh, NSBM, um, New Socialism Black Metal, or no, New Socialist Black Metal, which uh, come to find out later is actually a uh, neo-Nazi black metal. Yeah. Even the Nazis got black metal, but yeah, they're um, but uh, the uh, Antifa channel, they are vehemently opposed to this other channel. Don't worry, I didn't sub. To, I'm not subbing to them. I mean, no, no fan of Nazism, no fan of racism or anything like that. So, amazing, amazing channel like that's even in existence. Figured out YouTube would have censored it. So, uh, but. Anyway, uh, the main meet of today, just kick things off by uh, doing my usual, uh, doing a pinball stream, which went good. Um, just, I think um, I I beat a couple tournaments, um, and I think there was uh, one tournament I did where I shouldn't have bothered. It's just me in a fit of stupidity, you know, whoa, 100, mil 100 million points. Duh, I think I could beat that. And then ended up not even getting close. So, yeah, definitely my fault on that one. Um, but, but yeah, but all the rest of the tournaments that I did, I, I think I ranked pretty high on them. So, like I said, good solid performance in FX3, and more of the same on Pinball Arcade. And, uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But yeah, um, just good solid performance on Pinball Arcade. I think um, I barely scratched the top five high score in uh, in Creature from the Black Lagoon. But again, um. Did pretty did pretty good on all the other tables though, so definitely no complaints there. Uh, good solid session overall. And then um, at some point after that, I fired up some Gems of War, um, played it for a while, and um, I mostly uh, but like I said yesterday, I have no intentions of streaming it. Um, this is just gonna be like a kind of a casual side project. Um, just. I think I most I mostly did PvP. You know, it's where uh, I want to say it kind of works like Pokemon. 
like you pick your you pick your three Pokemon and you go up against your opponents your opponents three Pokemon it kind of works like that except um your um your opponent isn't actually there all you're doing is you're just bringing it I'm just bringing in my own team taking them up taking on my opponent's team I'm basically I'm playing the AI which I forgot to mention this yesterday too. Um, Gems of War they now have a they have an autoplay feature, like or autopilot, but uh, it only works at half speed. But yeah, I'm, I I did a little bit of it, but I'm like, oh man, I could get out and run faster than this. So you know, or or hell, man, I could. I mean, I could do this way quicker than the than the way the game's doing it. So, um kind of a step in the right direction but with the um with the AI in this game and with some of the with some of the teams I play with it it would it wouldn't work out so um but uh, also another thing I um uh, I fired up uh Street Fighter's 30th or either 20th or yeah 30th anniversary um I thought I came up with a I came up with a new way of playing um instead of like instead of like picking a character go to random select so it, it just it was just something that it just something that occurred to me while I was up while I was streaming pinball today um I don't really do it for FX3 um I'm more I'm more into tournaments and doing the uh, weekly matchups, but uh, I have done. I aside from those two, I um I play random tables on FX3, Pinball Arcade, Zachariah Pinball. I play random tables on those too. So I'm thinking, you know, why not do it for fighting games? Um, but I only, but one drawback, um, uh, the 30th anniversary. There is only like one game on there that actually has random select. Um, I think Street Fighter Alpha, the first one, is the only is the only game. I'm trying to stop myself from from saying table. You know, like as in, you know, I think the only table on Street Fighter is uh Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah, that's the only table with the random select. No, no, it's the only game <laughs> with a random select. But uh, Street Fighter Four, um, they have a random select. I believe Skullgirls has a random select. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Fantasy Strike. I I wish they had a I wish they had a I wish they had a random select. If they ever did, I I'd be playing that game more often. Although I still don't. The the dialogue and the lore. Uh, no no. I that would still be very off putting. I mean, you might as well just. <laughs> <laughs> you might you might just put all the char characters in one room and have them go, we're tiny, we're Tony, we're just a little loony. And you know if, if you've ever if you've ever actually played this game and you know seen some of the story modes and the dialogue, you'd kinda know where I'm coming from. But yeah, but like I said, I mean if Fantasy Strike ever had a random select, I might actually play it more often. Um Dragon Ball Fighters, it's got a random select, but uh, um, I think since it's it's um, team play is emphasized on there. I want to I want to say that you you really can't, but I don't, cause I just you know. Some character, some character interactions work better than others. Whereas uh, Skullgirls, you uh, team uh, going in with three players is uh, preferred, but uh, you can go in with one single player, and you'll be triple powered. Where you can go in with just two characters, and be d and they'll both be double powered. So, but uh, whereas uh, in Dragon Ball Fighters, you you get no benefit from just uh from playing a match with only one person especially when your opponent is going in with the full with the full three so I could 
if I ever get around, if I ever get around to it, um, next time I play Dragon Ball Fighters, I, I might just try going in with, um, just random select everything. But like I said, this is just a big time brainstorm. You know, and now, for those that, for those that have seen me play fighting games, you'll know that I'm a grappler at heart. I, I just, I like grapplers. But that doesn't mean that every single grappler character I've played has been an absolute joy. Like, I think probably the only grappler that I really like is Rook from Fantasy Strike, because all of his throws, they're, there's no motion inputs. It isn't like most other games. I know Hugo on Street Fighter 3. I mean, you got, you got to basically mangle the shit out of the controller to do like a spinning pile driver. Same with Zangief. You know, it's probably it's for true for most most of those other characters and all those other games that have motion inputs. I gotta mangle the living hell out of my controller to get some of the moves off. So, like like I say, ages. Ah, uh, Potemkin from Guilty Gear. Yeah, his. Yeah, I, I mean, I play him if the throws are easier to get off, and that's something else too. I'm, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, so I'll just. I'll just go ahead and write it out, but it it's it, 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 then there's, there's also the issue of uh, a lot of these grapplers. It's like it's like they have one, maybe two extra command throws. You know, just one or two more throws than everybody else. So it not really not very grapplery, you know. So, but but like I said, like getting back to what I was originally talking about. Um, so, probably going forward, in fact, maybe, uh, maybe when I'm done with this cast, I'll fire up some Street Fighter 4 or maybe some Skullgirls and try it out. Instead of actually picking a grappler character, pick random select. Same thing I do when I stream pinball. Um, uh, but that, but that's probably, probably going to be on the back burner until... Until I probably finish watching Gandhi, that was a that was a movie that came up on my YouTube recommendations like almost immediately after I finished my cast video yesterday. Uh, the movie Gandhi came up, I'm like hmm, never seen that before. Seems interesting. Uh, fired it up, got about halfway through. Um, I like it. Some pretty good stuff. Um, in the the music they were playing. The music they were playing all through all was actually some pretty good stuff, stuff as well. So, and um, but uh, when putting this cast together, I did learn something else too. That uh, the tired old cliche line that is so fucking overused that I think, I think at one point they actually had this quote in the break room at Walmart, like you must be the change you want to see at Walmart. Like yeah, it's that bad. Was um actually he he never even said that. I think what he actually said was like, "We but bear the world, are the tendencies present in the other world are to be found in the world of our body. If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so too does the attitude of the world change towards him. Listen to divine mystery supreme. A wonderful ticket this and the source of our happiness." We need not wait to see what others do. But yeah, that's what he actually said. So, so yeah, what the you must be the change you want to see in the world is just a sweet and condensed version of that. I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody from the world of marketing and advertising probably came up to him. Hey man, you got a TLDR version, version of that? Oh yes, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Oh, thanks man, that rocks. You know, so... But uh, even even then, I I, w I won't say it to this. Like I like I said, it's a phrase that is so fucking overdone, you know. Twitter, social, you know, social media, and the aforementioned Walmart, you know, it's so tired and cliche now that I won't say it. I don't like following the herd, so I'm not. Do I agree with it? Oh hell yeah, I do. You know, lead by example. 
I mean, when I first read that phrase, it was one of the coolest things I ever read. But again, um, just like, just like some of my favorite songs, just like some of the coolest music I ever heard, it got to a point where it got so overplayed that I don't want to hear it anymore. Same thing with, um, same thing with the famous Gandhi quote. I'm sick of hearing it. I'm sick of seeing it everywhere. So yeah, I don't really want to say it now. But like I said, um, I'm about uh, I'm about halfway, I'm about halfway through the movie. It's like a three-hour-long movie, in a, a nice, nice little touch. It even has an intermission. And, oh wait, that's the end of the album. We're here. Oh, uh, I'll just go ahead and restart it. But uh, I'm almost done anyway. So. But yeah, um. It, it had like a intermission and everything. They, they started playing a whole bunch of Indian music. I actually wanted to play some Indian music during this cast video, but uh, I I had this well, one the the Indian music that I actually looked up. It was repetitive, and chances are it, it's more likely to be copyrighted than say this uh, dungeon synth music that you're hearing. So it, yeah. So I, like, but like I said, this music here, not by choice. Um, this, I think, I don't know if I said this at the start of the cast, but um, the the music that I was listening to, uh, primarily black metal, wouldn't be very appropriate for a cast video. Too distracting. I've made that mistake before. So. Uh, but. Otherwise, otherwise, that's going to do it. Um, I said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Oh, and I forgot to mention um, a little bit of behind the scenes here. Um, yes, I am going with kind of a different format. Uh, those that have uh, checked out my other cast videos know that... Uh, that sometimes I tend to make mistakes when switching visuals and stuff. If I throw on a slideshow, um, they act really wonky and they don't always work. So I decided to try something different today and just go ahead and make a do a collage. Just throw a collage of, of things I did today. This way, this this also helps me so I can actually focus on talking and not without having a decision and you know having to click this, click that, click the other. Click this in order. Click this before that, and you'll just whole song and dance. I gotta do. So, so but, but otherwise, um, but yeah, um, that's gonna do it. So, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to make another one at least tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.